there is a bookstore owner and like that has store open for n minutes so you are given n which is the number of minutes again not given n but you have this n array size n which says that the store was open for n minutes as you can see the array size is 8 so the store is open for 8 minutes now every minute some number of customers enter the store so as you can see at the 0th minute one customer entered at the second minute or the first minute no customer entered second minute first customer entered like one customer entered third minute two customers entered fourth minute one fifth one sixth seven seventh five so all these number of customers entered so now i have to tell okay you are given an integer array called as customers of length n as i showed you where the customer phi is the number of customers that enters the store at the start of the ith minute at the start of the ith minute these may number of customer entered my store cool and all those customers leave after the end of that minute it is not that okay the customer will still remain no the the let's say it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 the customer at the third minute at the start of the third minute he will enter uh, two customers will enter and at the end which means before going to the fourth minute they will go these two customers will go okay now one on some minute the bookstore is grumpy uh, you are given binary integer array grumpy where the grumpy phi is one if the bookstore owner is grumpy during that ith minute and zero otherwise you are also given a grumpy array which shows that this bookstore owner is grumpy at that minute so it's it says that the bookstore owner is grumpy at the first minute the bookstore owner is grumpy at the third minute the bookstore owner is grumpy at the fifth minute the bookstore owner is grumpy at the seventh minute so at all these minutes the bookstore owner is grumpy okay when the bookstore owner is grumpy the customers of that of that minute are not satisfied otherwise they are satisfied so if the bookstore owner is grumpy the customers are not satisfied and they don't want to come so ideally they would not want to come here right now the bookstore owner knows a secret technique to keep themselves not grumpy for minutes consecutive minutes now you are given minutes which is a technique known by the bookstore owner that he can be not grumpy for these minutes number of minutes consecutively which means in this case my uh, the, my bookstore owner can be non grumpy for three consecutive minutes it can be any three consecutive minutes it can be these three consecutive minutes or these three or these three any three consecutive minutes the bookstore owner can be non grumpy after return the maximum number of customers that can be satisfied throughout the day and again the customer can be satisfied only when he will visit he will visit the shop at a minute when the when the bookstore owner is not grumpy so for sure it makes sense that i have to return the maximum number of customer so my prime thing is customer my prime thing is customer i have to return the maximum number of customer so what i will do technically i i should take a window because again consecutive 3 consecutive 3 is nothing but a window of size 3 i should take a window of size 3 which should have maximum number of customers right but then there's a small catch that at all the time when the bookstore owners was not grumpy for sure he can be taken for sure he can be taken for sure the customers can come so ideally all these locations will for sure come which means in my maximum customers one one plus plus one plus one plus seven will for sure come now how after like imagine that these are gone imagine that these are gone again not technically gone but still you can see that they are here now imagine these are like gone but now out of these remaining thing you have to choose consecutive three minutes where there are maximum customers right you got it that now out of these configuration which, which i have i have to choose consecutive three minutes where i have maximum number of customers so let's see okay i will take these these three consecutive minutes zero customers okay these three consecutive minutes two customers these three consecutive minutes again two customers these three consecutive minutes three customers okay increased uh now these three consecutive customers one customer okay again still maximum number of customers i have still three these consecutive oh six customers so i can choose this specific entire window 
and say I will be non grumpy for three consecutive minutes and thus I can add a plus six also in my answer. Thus my answer is six plus seven, 13 plus one, 14, 15, 16. Answer is 16. Cool. So that's simple. How we realize we will simply take the summation of basically the non grumpy minutes. We will take the summation again. Our main name is customers. So we will take the summation of customers based on if they are, if the bookstore owner is non grumpy at that minute. After taking the summation, I will remove them. Then I will go on to my entire customers array and will take a window of a size minute and will simply slide that window because, because ultimately, see, ultimately you want for that window size, you want the summation. So you want the summation, but if you take the summation in a brute force way, you can simply see that for n array, if you take the window size again, n minutes, n minutes, so it will be n into m, which will for sure give you TLE, which will be 4 into 1, 8, which will give you TLE. So you realize that it is obvious that you are kind of sliding the window only, that you have this window, then you have this window, then you have this window, and so on and so forth. So you should simply slide the window and take the next element in consideration. Cool. Let's see how we will do it. So we realize that we can have three variables. First is that for sure we have to slide the window, which means we have to take the every window in consideration and we have to maximize that window sum. So I will take my current window sum as window sum. Ultimately, my aim is to maximize that window sum. So I will also keep taking the maximum, but make sure this is only for the array of customers when my grumpy is one when my grumpy is zero i can for sure take it so i will take a zero sum separately wherever my grumpy is zero wherever my grumpy is zero i will take that zero sum again that zero sum represents my grumpy is zero i will take that sum separately because that will for sure come remaining is non when he is when he is grumpy in that duration of minutes how many maximum customers I can take that will give me my maximum window sum cool again window size will be of three minutes minutes number of minutes cool let's see how we write the code again in a simply sliding window code how do we write the code we simply start off and firstly make the first window itself out in the first window in the very beginning you know that the first window should be of three number of minutes like three minutes which means your element will start increasing and it should go to less than three, which means I equal to, it should go. And then the first window should be completed, like will be completed. So ideally in this case, what will happen again, you have to go to all the elements just once because it's a sliding window. Then you will keep on building up the window until your, if your I is less than minutes, as I showed you, minutes is three, minutes is three. You have to keep on building up the window itself up till I is equal to. Right, so I'm right now building up the window and I will keep on building up when until my i is less than my 3, which means I reach here. So I'll keep on building up the window. And when I say building up, I simply mean what? I simply mean that for all the locations where grumpy of i is 1, I will add the corresponding customers of i. So until my i is less than my minutes, in my window sum, because that's what I'm keeping track of, I will add what? customers of i only and only when if my grumpy of i is one cool okay now if your window is made as soon as you will go on to again you are going on to the i so as soon as you will go on to next element which is next i so ideally you are shifting your window like this but you know now you have to keep track of the only window size so if you shift it if you shift it Okay, it makes sense you shift it which means this new in in um, incoming element which is customers of i will be added but you should also remove my customer of i minus minute because if i is 3 i minus minute minute is 3 also so it will be 0 so you have to remove that from your window so it will become like this again because you are like earlier the window size was increasing now it will become simply like this because you will remove it so you added a customers of i and you remove customers of i minus minute so what you did else which means when your i has exceeded now you can just start removing the i minus minute element also so what you will do you will add i and you will subtract i minus minute in the in the window sum you will add your customers of i and will subtract customers of i minus minute but make sure you are doing only and only this 
when your grumpy of i is one but then you will ask i and when what about uh, you told us right when it is zero yeah so what i will do i will keep track of the zero sum i will say that the zero sum plus is equals to if my customer if sorry if my grumpy of i if it is equals to zero simply add your customers of i customers of i else add a zero so this is how i will maintain the zero sum and then here i am maintaining my window sum of that specific minutes and i for sure i have to, I have to take the maximum window sum so i will take the maximum window sum maximum maximum window sum of the current window sum and this will maximize the window sum and again as i am taking the window sum only for the grumpy grumpy minutes so i am good so this will have the maximum window sum of the grumpy minutes and i have the zero sum which will for sure come so ultimately in the end i should return my zero sum which is wherever i was zero which is not, not which means not grumpy and the maximum window sum and the maximum window sum and that is your answer cool and as you can see you simply a sliding window and how you thought of a sliding window because you want to try on for all the windows all the consecutive three places that's the reason you thought of even of thinking of sliding window because it was consecutive three locations cool let's say the code it's exactly same the code simply says i have a window sum i have a zero sum i have a maximum window sum i have n consecutive minutes sorry n minutes i will go on to all of my minutes i will firstly keep track of my zero sum right then i will keep track of my sliding window firstly building up my window itself that if the i is less than my minutes i will build up my window window sum plus is equals to if the grumpy is one only then add the customers of i else add a zero same way i will shift my sliding window okay in window sum add the customers of i again only when the grumpy of i is one and subtract your customers of i minus minute only when grumpy of i minus minute is one okay when i will do that which means i am shifting my window and ultimately make sure to keep your maximize your window sum and i maximize my window sum and ultimately when this portion is done i have my maximum window sum i have my zero sum i should simply add my zero sum with my maximum window sum and that is my total number of customers which i can facilitate cool and with this your time will be simply o of n because it's simply o of n as you, as you can see most optimized and there's no space used so space will also be o of n oh, sorry o of one and that is your space and time capacity i hope you got it if yes then follow linkedin twitter discord and twitter and yeah see you guys bye bye take care why is it twitter again but yeah cool bye bye